The stakes are high for the upcoming COP26 event, otherwise known as the Climate Summit. The world is watching the biggest polluting countries show whether they're going to do what's necessary to stop the worst effects of climate change. Regardless of what happens in person in Scotland next week, we all have a role to play in this conversation. When it comes to biomimicry, we're looking through the lens of the twin threats of climate change and biodiversity loss, which we know one can't be solved without addressing the other. Protecting the biodiversity of our planet means stabilizing ecosystems and creating harmonious balance for our Earth, all of Earth. Ecosystems protect us. When there's balance, a healthy forest can offer clean air for us to breathe. Animals and insects help with pollination, which is essential for our global food supply. Healthy soils cycle nutrients. Sharks provide essential food sources and they regulate balance below the water surface. Mangroves store a lot of carbon and they keep it out of the atmosphere, plus they create a super strong coastal resilience. But one thing not often talked about is when we lose these organisms that have been around a lot longer than we have, we lose our mentors. We we lose wisdom that offers secrets to how to adapt and survive on this earth, not only in the ecosystem services they provide, but from the plethora of adaptations they have evolved for many other functions, some that could even offer us guidance in solving the very problems leading to the degradation of our ecosystems. So what are we doing? At the Biomimicry Institute, we're on a mission to educate people about nature's wisdom. These biological blueprints are available now to help address some of our most critical challenges. When we ask nature, we can look at the functional problem we want to solve for and see how nature has done it successfully. We're also helping companies accelerate the growth of their nature-inspired products and services, ensuring that they're embodying the ethos element of biomimicry into their solutions so that they're truly making designs that continuously support and create conditions conducive to life. And we are helping to inspire the next generation of young people, empowering them to take hold of their future now by giving their teachers the tools to connect with the natural world and critically think about how to solve problems that matter to them. Together, we can move the world toward regenerative design and here's how you can help. We are a social creature. And when we share stories with each other, we're introducing different ways of thinking. Spread the word about biomimicry and other indigenous forms of traditional ecological design and how we can look through this lens of seeing just how interconnected we are to all of Earth's creatures and ecosystems. As a nonprofit, we also rely on the generosity of others in doing this very powerful and rewarding work. Any support you can offer helps us to continue on this mission and create real change. The survival of all of us depends on balancing our Earth's climate, the climate that has allowed life to thrive here as we know it today. It's that straightforward. COP26 isn't the end of this journey. It's the spotlight needed to catapult us into a new era of standards of living here on this planet. I hope that you'll join us in this mission. Thank you.